feel awful and I'm trying so hard not to focus on negatives in life. Like, so hard. Ah! And it's the morning and I'm just emotional. Um, oh my god. I just am, like, trying so, so hard to focus on all the positive things in my life, which there are a bunch. I'm trying to let go of any anger or sadness or hurt in my heart and it's just, like, not working. And I'm like, literally feel like I'm going to break. Like I've never felt broken before. And I just feel like emotionally broken. And it just sucks. It just sucks. <laughs> um, yesterday was just a tough day. It was made better. Adam came over and we went to Toy Story 4 and that was really good actually. I wasn't expecting. I'm not so into cartoons. Um, but that was actually really good. I guess that's why those movies do so well because they have pretty good stories to them. Um, oh my god, Trish. <laughs> Where are you freaking going, girl? <laughs> Where am I going? I'm going to get my, I guess, polyp removed um, on my cervix. Now, I'm thinking I'm not going to be in any pain from it. Um, the more I found out after I posted that video and, like, after I even talked about it, I guess my mom has had it removed. I guess it's, like, really a quick surgery, like, 10 minutes. I guess you get, like, cramping. Um, so, we'll see. <laughs> and I am have faith. I'm already like thinking this isn't going to be so bad. Like I'm going into it thinking it's not going to be so bad. And I really pray that it's not because we have dance auditions today for my tour and for other projects like music videos and stuff. And so we're holding like big dancer auditions in LA where like Cedric put out a casting to like all the agencies. He's with an agency. So he put it out to all the dance agencies and people are going to come and audition, which is crazy because they actually put like the artist's name of who you're auditioning for, which is me. And I was like, oh my God, no one's going to come. Like no one's going to care. But I think we have like a hundred people coming which is insane. Um, so, yeah. There's that. <laughs> um, and then we, so last night, so it was fun. So Adam came over and we went to Toy Story and then we also danced because um, Adam's a dancer too, which I didn't, he always like told me, but you know, you never really see someone dance. Like, when are you going to see someone dance really, you know? Not even like at weddings and stuff, you can see someone dance because that's not really how they dance. That's not how like you dance. You know what I mean? But he dances in a troupe. Um, or in a group, <laughs> I don't really know what the difference between a troop and a group is, but he dances with a squad, <laughs> and, um, so we danced together, and it was really, really fun, but I think he's, like, such a perfectionist, I'm not, like, I'll put up a dance video and, like, not care, I'll be like, oh, wow, can I really not turn right here, left here? Oh, oh, okay, oh, okay, oh, no, oh, no, okay, I need to get my life together. Like, for real, for real. <sighs> um, so, me and Adam dance, but he's, like, a perfectionist. So, like, it was Cedric. And so, I don't think he's going to... I don't know if he wants me to post the video. Because we had it filmed. and um, Which is fine. Like, I, I respect it. Like, I'm, I'm a, I am mean, a pusher, which is probably why I don't have a lot of friends. I always am, like, push, push, push. Like, I was just... I'm such, like, a control person. I don't know. So, but respect um i'm gonna just go this way because all oh, these are like the left turns so i don't know if he wants me to post it i'm gonna say a no he's just perfectionist that's just what he is and like, like i said i can never relate i'm someone who's just like this is what it is you know what i mean but i i get it and he is a very good dancer really good like i watch back i'm like oh my god he's he's better than me so that's why i was like mm, i don't know but anyway so we might refilm that so i don't know <laughs> i have all these high hopes like i'm gonna go to this dance audition and like learn the routine and not that I'm auditioning but like I just want to learn the routine just for exercise and then like and then refilm the um choreography we learned yesterday so I don't know I, I hope I'm just not like you know I'm very I'm very like not good with medical stuff like doctor things I'm just just not and so um 
I said I'm gonna. I'm just such a baby. I guess that's the word. Like I'm just really bad. Even though I've had like plastic surgery, which is like so crazy that I've ever had plastic surgery because I'm so scared of pain. Like I'm terrified of pain. So like the thought of this now is terrifying to me. So yeah. And then I missed a meeting for my little bitch box yesterday, which is so not like me at all. I had a little bit of a meltdown the night before. <laughs> I just missed it and that's that's not like me at all and not only is it not like me at all to miss something like if it's for someone else but especially for me and my stuff I'm like I was so embarrassed and um the head of the company that work that I work with for that box is like off to like China or something for two weeks I felt really bad they're really understanding people but I, that's that's not me just and yesterday was rough I it's so hard because I love like expressing my how I feel and like I love sharing everything but lately I don't know I think it's just like the internet's tired of it or maybe just people watch me and I get it I get it like I totally get it even in real life like nobody likes to watch someone depressed over and over and over like that's not fun and like the thing is is like I am depressed but like I have moments of happiness <sighs> just also my skin's like breaking out really bad and I don't know if it's not drinking enough water or what but I don't know I'm just feeling a lot <laughs> everything's just so overwhelming I'm doing everything alone and like the more I say that I know the more I dwell on it and harp on it and the more it's just gonna come to fruition that I'll be alone forever but and I try so hard to do like techniques people tell me like manifesting in the morning like what you want and affirmations and I do it and, and I do it and I just it's like I don't believe it or broken but like so much is going on that I don't want to lose momentum and you know at the end of the day like YouTube is my job and like and it's like I don't want to give this up because this is literally a dream job like you know it really is like Cause here's the thing like what am I gonna go do be sad and work at freaking udon tempura <laughs> like that would be worse if I was sad right like, I, like nobody wants to hear it there I just pray from now I look at this tape what is today July 2nd and just because I did that you know when I was happy even last December I looked at that December versus the December before and I was just like oh my god how happy I was versus how unhappy I was the year before I'm sorry if I'm depressing people. I'm sorry. I literally just like cry myself to sleep every single night. Because the thing is, is, like, I truly do love, like, dancing and music. Like, I, I love it so much. And I wish I could just do it 24 hours a day because then I would be happy all the time. But, I mean, that's just not how it works. <laughs> that's just, you can't, it's not realistic, you know. I almost wish my tour was, like, back-to-back -back cities when people do that. Which, I really wanted to do, like, a bus tour this year. Like, earlier in the summer even. But, 
I guess like the company I work like I work with like a production company some people like put on their own tours which is like insane how they how they do that it sounds like a lot of work and a lot of like risk and a lot of upfront money which maybe in the end they end up making more money I don't really know I'm never really concerned about money when it comes to like touring so I guess maybe I, sh I should be maybe I should like invest in my own tour but hindsight but I work with a production company that puts it all on for me and like contacts all the venues for me so it's really like I don't have to do any of the work which is kind of what I do for music videos too like you pay a production company a fee so you're kind of paying like extra but for me it's just like the convenience of it um well I'm like I left really early and like I'm getting I'm not gonna be late but like I feel like my appointment's at 9 15 and it's 8 40 but like traffic I mean I know I've been going like traffic is the way I just want you guys to know, like, I'll be okay. Like, I don't want to ever worry people. I just, like, you know when you're just sad and you just want to be sad? Like, I'm just going to feel this sadness. And, like, for me to feel it and let it go, like, for some reason, like, putting it out there, it's like, okay, it's out there. People know how I'm feeling. I don't know. That's weird, probably. <laughs> I just kind of, like, I literally feel alone. Like, I just don't have someone... I can cry too. You know what makes me so sad about, I know it's like, I should get over it. Trust me. Trust me, I want to. What makes me so sad about my last relationship is like, he truly was like my best friend. And I, I know like, I watched so many of those like videos on how to get over a breakup and don't idealize the person. But like, the thing I loved most about him was like, I could cry to him and like there was no judgment <laughs> and even up until the very end he understood where I was coming from and I just <laughs> like I've never had that in my life with a friend with a family member nothing where I could just be so open <sighs> And maybe that was the mistake. Maybe he felt more like a caretaker than a boyfriend. And maybe it was too much on him. But I just, I just never had someone I could just be myself around. Ever, 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 ever. And I don't say that to be dramatic. Like, literally, I'm like, why am I taking this so hard? Like... just like I just <laughs> I've just never felt that with anyone and I'm just so scared to like do that again with someone new and I don't want to do it with someone new and I know I feel like I should just be alone Oh my god. <laughs> I just need a good cry to your gynecologist's office. <laughs> okay. Crystal Farms, my turkey. I need to eat better 
too. I know I need to eat better. I am going to start today, like, literally just no processed foods. No junk in my body. They say that, like, it does miracles. And you know what? I've never really done it consistently. And not even to be skinny or whatever. I just, I just, I'm trying, I just need something to heal me in, like, a natural way. And if that's food, okay. I really just need that. I just need that discipline, too. For myself, you know? Ugh. <laughs> so many things like how to let go of guilt or regret and like you just have to let it go and forgive yourself like and I say it to myself constantly I constantly say it to myself and I just I just can't <laughs> and something happened yesterday that just really triggered all this back up again. I have to stop soon? I guess so. Okay. Like with me personally, not like online or anything. It was me personally and I just my heart just sank. yourself together trash <laughs> oh god this is like the hardest turn ever <laughs> sleep until like four in the morning I lay in bed I toss and turn yet again and then I don't go to sleep until like four in the morning now and then I have to get up at like seven like the past couple days I've been getting up early and which is it's fine like that's not a big deal but I'm sorry guys I really hope I, so I just cry I really hope I'm not depressing you guys I just am like trying to like let it out like get it out and I think I feel like maybe if I just cry to people like cry to someone it's gonna make me feel better I'm so sick of, I was sick of crying. <sighs> wow, that's a pretty Louis Vuitton store. That's weird. Is that like a pop-up shop Louis Vuitton? 
This is so weird. Oh, it is that Louis Vuitton X. Mm. This is not where the Louis Vuitton store is. It looks fancy, right? But like, I, I got an email about this. I don't know. Okay, so I guess this is what I'm supposed to look over. The sheets over there. Okay, so that was virtually painless. Oh my god, my car's already here. I want to go sit, and it's already here. <laughs> I've come to this dino for a really long time, and I never knew they had this like fancy, like it's like a fancy valet, and there's also like fancy salt, like hair salons down here. It's really weird. I always thought you had a like street park, but I guess that wouldn't make sense because we're in a huge facility. Um, whoa, this feels like a ride at Disneyland. Like, legit, this feels like Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, literally so painless. Uh, like, it's, it's I wouldn't even say it's uncomfortable. It just feels like a pap smear, you know, when they kind of, like, push you open. Just, like, but, like, even the shot of numbingness, like, they're like, oh, you could feel a pinch. I didn't. Jeez. My car's, like, low, and that just hit my car. Okay, I love that. Um, but, yeah, that was, like really painless so I guess if you ever have a if you ever need a polyp removed don't be scared um and that's coming from someone who's an actual baby so I mean, I'm not an actual baby I'm 31 but you get it um so that was good he told me to like not exercise so much today but I really want to dance later so you know we'll see about that <laughs> um but if if not if it's like I feel fine I have to go get medication. There's no one around me unless someone's like. <laughs> That's so annoying. Oh my god! Am I close? What am I close to? That's so weird. Um. Yeah, so I have to go get medication because I guess when they use like instruments and stuff, it was crazy because it was like, it's like a, it's like literally like a saw, but like I couldn't feel a thing. I like knock on wood, <laughs> like I couldn't feel anything and like hopefully it just continues that way. You know, I've, I thought that my first day I had liposuction, I was like, oh, I feel nothing. And then it like sucked in the second day, but I think I don't think it's like this. So um, he's pretty positive that it wasn't cancerous. He's like, it's not. He's like, we have to send it in, you know, but it's not. We just have to send it in for. I said, how do you know? He's like, I've seen so much. I guess you can see. Um, my little battery. I should probably charge my phone because I have a long day ahead of me. I guess you can see cancer, like cervical cancer. I guess you, I guess they can just tell if it's cancerous or not. It was huge. I took a picture of it. I probably can't insert it. I don't even know where I would show it. I don't think anybody wants to see it. It was huge. Oh my God, it was so big. Where do polyps come from? <laughs> because I had a pap smear back in December. Or I had like, um, yeah, I had a pap smear. And so, where, how do they form? Like it came in six months, that's crazy. So I don't know, I should probably do research. I should probably have asked. I don't know. Also, I think it could just be genetic. Also, that girl just gave me such a bitch look and I never say that, but she literally just like looked and was like, like, damn, what I do to you? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get medication. Oh my God, I look so tired. I was so tired. I was like wanting to sleep in there. I was so tired. I don't know what's wrong with me. Depression. <laughs> no, maybe. I come to this restaurant so much by myself. <laughs> They're like the usual table. I'm like, yep. But I have to take my medication with some food, so I just decided to come to this. I made my Botox appointment for Friday. And I'm gonna go home, change, get some dance clothes, and head to the auditions. But I'm eating first. Not even that hungry. I'm getting some eggs to eat with my pills. <laughs> Hi guys, what's up? Um so now we're going to dance rehearsals. Well, not really dance rehearsals. We're going to dance auditions, which is very exciting. I've never had auditions before, but since we're going on tour and just for other music video projects, we decided to hold an audition, which is like really cool. I didn't even know we could hold an audition. Cedric knows all about that stuff. I don't know. I guess I was like, can anyone just hold auditions? But I guess you have to, I don't know. I don't really know the process of it. But I'm going to go peep in on the auditions because I'm excited about it. I was like, the fact that people want to come out and dance for me, so I'm actually gonna get there like pretty close to like 
the start time. Um, I don't want to be too eager to be because she's like, oh, you can come later because it's like five hours. We have the room from like noon to five. <laughs> Did I just blow out? Oh, I think I just like blew out a little bug. <laughs> um, and then I want to try and refilm this dance bit thing um, to Toxic. I actually watched the one with Adam and it's really, really good, but I'm going to get his approval. And if he says no, then we'll have a backup video I can post. Um, hopefully we can get that today. I feel great. My little, oh, they're running. What are they running to see? Oh, they're just running to cross. <laughs> I thought somebody was like famous up there. <laughs> they were like sprinting. Um, so we're going to start going to Starbucks and just like treat myself. Um, treat myself as if I haven't been in fact I'm like the opposite of wanting to treat myself like oh, I need to be stricter I know I'll feel better but also <laughs> when I can't want macchiato it just sounds really good it just sounds like something I'm, like it sounds like something naughty but like not too heavy I hate Mercedes I truly do like they censor things I'm literally not even close to the person ahead of me person behind me is still behind me there's nobody walking um but yeah I'm really excited to go be a part of dance life <laughs> Just to see the dancers. I'm, they're dancing. Oh, my God. They're dancing to my new song, Iconic. We're just shooting a music video next week. And honestly, the albums were supposed to come out in July. They probably won't come out till like, late August, beginning September. Yikes. I know. Ugh. It's better this way, but also, it sucks. Um, but I'm still going to put out the music video, even though the song probably won't be available on iTunes or Spotify for, like, a month after the video comes out, which not my preference not my choice but um you know for tour and stuff I want to perform the song and I want to have the video for tour um and I wanted a bunch of new songs for tour I just I get I don't know what's gonna happen um but you know what we could always do too is we can always exchange songs but you know it's going to be um I don't know, it's going to be um amazing and fun <laughs> should I get like a new drink God, I used to go to Starbucks all the time when I lived by the beach. It was like my thing. I was so happy there. <laughs> I don't know why. My relationship ship sucked. Iced cocoa cloud of macchiato. That sounds horrible for you, but it looks so good. Iced cocoa cloud macchiato. I kind of want to try that. This line is so a bunch of lazy people that don't want to go inside. Actually, I don't even know. Well, there is no inside. This is strictly just a drive through huh. Interesting. How cute are these shoes by Steve Madden? They're like little heels, but they're not wedges, and they're comfortable. I love it. And these are my Gucci glasses from freaking Nordstrom. Oh, I have to wipe that thing off. But they, like, just totally replaced them. That was so cool. These are the ones that got smashed. And they just replaced them. Nordstrom has, like, a great return policy. How are you doing today? Hi, good. How can I help? Um, yes, can I get a large iced cocoa cloud macchiato? Okay, what else can I get for you? Um, that's it. It's going to be 545, thank you. Thank you. So it's 200 calories in a grande. I actually like look back because you guys are char you're, you're, like charging. So I wanted to see how like, the audio recorded. And I look atrocious today. I look so... I don't look good with my hair pulled back, but... You guys, I'm literally trying to transition into a new hair color. But it's so hard to find. Like, the people who are good are, like, booked and busy. Um, and I, look, I love my hair colors. I freaking love being blonde. I do. But, you know when you're just craving change in life? Like, I'm ready to move. I'm ready to, like, you know, just do new things with my hair. Like, I don't know. You don't just want to change. Like, I haven't changed my hair in so long. Like, so long. And I'm just, like... I need to change. I need to change. I don't know. Life's hard, y'all. <laughs> Life's hard, but... This is gross, sorry. But I hope, like... I hope you never give up. I hope I never give up. You know, like I said, I've had serious thoughts where I'm like, I don't know if this is the life I'm meant to have. Like, I don't know if YouTube is something that I should be doing anymore. Like, I, I like it. I really do. It's just, it's so much on my heart. I'm such a sensitive person that, like, 
And I'm not going to lie, it really is like seeing an ex and ex-friends on social media. You're just like, just thriving. And, and yes, and you know what? I do know social media is like somewhat fake, right? Um, but it's like, it just sucks. It's just like, oh my God, going through, oh, like going through a breakup, like where both people are like, especially YouTuber breakup. Oh my God. I will never, I will never date a YouTuber. <laughs> Not that there's any other YouTubers that'd be normal. There's no other YouTuber I'm even attracted to. Jason kind of was like the perfect pairing when like Andrea like suggested him because I like older guys. So he was kind of like the perfect, but, and while it was like so much fun, like the aftermath of it is freaking brutal. Like, people constantly tweeting me what he's doing. Like, constantly sending me emails. Like, people email me and be like, hey, he's he liked this person's photo. It's just, like, knowing that it's going to get a rise out of me. and it's But it's, like, that's, like, literally so torturous. Like, that's, I mean, it literally is torture. <laughs> it's, it's so mean and cruel. And, like, I get it. And I get people just want to rise and just want the drama and stuff. But... It's so hard. And just... Because you have to... You know when you break up with someone, you, you don't really have to see what they go about with their lives. Social media, no matter if I unsubscribe, mute, whatever, you have to see what the other person's doing. And it's... And if you don't see it, people are going to tell you. And they're going to hit you over the head with it. Like... And it's just... It's just... It is brutal. And then I just see, like... And it's not a bad thing at all. Like, the clicks of YouTube, which is, like, totally fine. I'm old. I'm 31. But it's like, I don't fit in with anybody, any group, the parties people throw. And, the, you know, even some older YouTubers I follow, they're so into, like, that party life and hanging with porn stars. I'm just like, and it, YouTubers are just different than, like, mainstream, like, traditional celebrities. Because traditional celebrities, not that they're not, like, wild and also awful people sometimes. But I think traditional celebrities get a little more, they're a little more cautious. Maybe because they're paranoid. But... Um, YouTubers, I just think, feel they're untouchable. Like, they really feel invincible. And for a lot of it, they are. I mean, but they're not. I mean, you see it happen so often. Oh, you can walk up in order. That's cool. You see it so often, you know, that it does go to crap, right? Like, Sam Pepper, um, Romeo Lacoste. Like, I mean, there's probably so... I'm, like, I'm literally forgetting all the scandals. Like, so many girls come forward, right? Um... I just saw something the other day about Logan Paul saying something about Shea Butler, like, cheating on his wife, talking to, like, a webcam girl. And I was like... And I remember when that happened, and he brought it up recently, and Shea Carl was just like, dude, like, you're gonna keep bringing that up? Like, how would you like it if people kept bringing up your thing? Which I get. I totally get both sides. Like... Oh, my God. Like, the YouTube drama, I tell you. I totally get both sides. Like, yeah, I don't like people bringing up shit from, like, five years ago that I've apologized over and over for. But at the same time, like, once you have a scandal, that's your scandal. And that's going to be your MO for a very long time and very few. I mean, people can get past it, but not really. I mean, you look at Logan Paul and, like, I think for the most part, people are kind of like, you know, he's getting views and people like him again. And, like, rightfully so. Like, my, my thing with that was I don't think it was as big of a deal as people made it out to be. Was it gross? Yeah, but, like, you know, anyways. But that's going to be his MO. And, like, people still bring it up. I watch his podcast. Like, people bring it up to him on his podcast. Like, that's his thing. And, and if, like, like with like with me, too, like, you have to, like, let things go. Because otherwise it will eat you inside, like, you as the person. But, I don't know, man. It, it's just too much. Sometimes I think it's just too much for me. Like, I don't think I can. I, and I honestly think this is, if anything will break me, this will be it. And as far as just being on YouTube, obviously, I'm going to continue living as a person <laughs> and a human. But I don't know. I mean, I'm going to do something, obviously, online still. And I, I, I will still post on YouTube. But part of me is, like, maybe just kind of not be so stressed about posting. Like, I, I don't know. I was thinking about posting, like, every day. And now I'm, like, and then I was, like, oh, I need to post a few times a week. And I'm, like, I'll be, uh, if I post once a week, that's that's something, you know. Because I, I do like it. It's just It's just hard to be on social media. And the thing is, I truly do like consuming social media. Like, I tr I say this to my therapist. Like, I, I actually, like, love, like, reading comments. I love, like, looking at other people's videos. Like, I love seeing what people are doing. And so, it's just, it's just hard. And as much as you, like, want to avoid something, and as soon as someone tells you something of what someone's doing, like, my ex, then you're like, okay, I want to know. And that's so awful. And again, we know I lack willpower. That guy got a Frappuccino, and that's what I really wanted. 
<laughs> which probably is the same calories as what I'm getting. I don't freaking know. A cocoa cloud mac. That sounds just so like a shake, basically. Oh my god, I just put my car into a different. Anyways, you guys. Oh, we're gonna go get the cloud macchiato. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You don't have straws, do you? Sure, sure. Yeah, okay, thanks. Here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. First of all, already delicious. Already warm. <laughs> it's hot. It's freaking hot. This line is insane right now. It's hot in LA. It is hot and toasty. Um, yeah, I but the, all of that to say this. I do have a lot of ideas I want to execute. I've I think I've just been feeling not motivated, but once your girl gets new hair, what else was I going to do? I was going to get new hair and I'm going to get my new nails. I'm getting those done for the meet. Like, I feel like once I'm kind of like, especially once I move, ooh, game over. And I am going to move. <laughs> I really am. Like, I have to at this point. Like, I just can't. Let's try this drink. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's so sweet. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to continue drinking it. That's so sweet. Wow tastes like literally a chocolate milk <laughs> um <laughs> I actually never liked chocolate milk either as a kid I don't know you guys and honestly I'm starting a podcast and I'm like so antsy I've like texted my manager I was like he's like it's no it's definitely a go and I'm like but when is it a go like, I just want to start that because like one thing I love if you guys watch my YouTube videos I just love to talk and I think it's better in a podcast format and I think podcasts are kind of popping they've been popping for a while but it's something I've wanted to do and I have like a deal with a contract um with a podcast company so like i think i'm like once i start that maybe with youtube it's such a visual thing and i'm like oh what do i do but i, I have like i said i do have some ideas it's executions which is challenging for me at the moment just because i'm just unmotivated and i hate my i just hate my hair you know when you're ready for a change and now you just can't stand your own hair you're just like i hate my hair that's kind of how i feel at the moment but anyway um Okay, I'm like, why did I just fan myself when I have AC? This is, this is like, okay, I don't know. It's kind of like weird. It's a weird drink, but. I know I asked for a straw. I know. It's bad. I need to keep metal straws in here because I really would use them. And I really want to use them. I really do think straws are like horrible. And I was never an environmentalist person. <laughs> Um, but anyways, you guys, I, I just want you to ever think too that I like don't like what I do. I love what I do, but it's also like, especially with my music videos, like that's what I love the most but, and making music, but both of those things are my, I put like all my money into it. So I also need to be smart and like, you know, buy my house and like stop, like hold for a second and also like save more money because here's the reality too, like, you know, invest my money. The thing is, I, I don't really have crazy and Oh, yeah, what an asshole. That guy totally blocked out that ambulance. <gasps> cars that just cut in front of ambulances are insane to me. Like, that's, I think that's the worst karma. Like, pull on over. Um, what was I talking about? I feel like I had something insightful to add to this, but. Um, I guess I didn't. <laughs> I don't know. I felt like I was going somewhere with that. Oh, but yeah, I just, I, you know, my, the investments I have are so small. Like I should be like buying more. I should have been buying multiple houses and like renting those out, you know, like ultimately, but you know, you're young and motivated once. And then I'm like, okay, I go back and forth with that. I'm, I'm very back and forth. With, like save your money. And then also back and forth with you only live once. <laughs> um, I've been better with money. I used to be really, really awful with money, but now I'm like, at least I have like a cushion. Like let's say I wanted to take a year off, I could do so comfortably. But also then after a year, be like, okay, what are you doing, girl? <laughs> like you know. So I don't know. Anyways, I think talking about financial stuff is like so boring. But some people find it really fascinating. I I think it's boring. Even like I don't know with family and friends. Oh, people talk about their finances. I'm like, Bleh. who cares? Mm. Oh my god, I just swallowed 
chocolate syrup hole. <laughs> and even though that sounds delicious, it's not. It's so weird. It's like, it is, it tastes like cocoa. I guess it was a cocoa macchiato. It literally tastes like hot cocoa powder. <laughs> Anyways, I wish I could eat Chick-fil-A right now, but like, no, I can't. I can't. I think processed foods are destroying my brain for real. Okay. This is all meter party. Oh, there's new additions. Wow, I'm so excited. Oh my God, there's so many people in there. That's crazy. Oh my God, I'm so eager. Oh shoot, I can't park here. Dang it. Oh my God, I'm so eager to get in there. Oh man, I'm gonna have to park far, aren't I? Dang. Ugh. Dang. Oh, I can't even turn there. I'm gonna just circle like a weirdo. Oh man, I wanna turn right there. How did dancers find parking? You guys, there's so many dancers in there. Ah, I got really excited. Oh my God, I got so excited. The other thing is we use so many of the same dancers and I do love my, I love every dancer that dances with me. Oh my God, like that's like always so cool. I'm like flattering that anybody even wants to dance with, with me. But um, I always think like new faces, fresh faces, you know, cause people with any job, I know this, okay, as, a, as an employer, and like I don't say this like, which is okay it's just weird to me it just blows my mind because i when i used to like be the one to get hired like i had to like literally it's so funny the guy knows they asked me what i was doing i said i'm gonna go dance like oh like an audition i said oh no like for myself but when i used to like i guess i never really had like a service job where i did something but here's the thing you use someone like over and over and like i'm look first of all and this is not about anyone in my like the people that are still around like andrew valentine my director and like cedric and adam the people who are around me like they're good but like I've seen people come and go this way with anything dancers actors youtubers you collab with like whatever the case is like you do it too often and they get like freaking a little greedy <laughs> and they or they get like very self-absorbed like it starts becoming about them i remember one time i had a hairdresser and a makeup artist like tell me what days they could glam like i'd be like hey can you come tomorrow like i have like a tv thing or hey can you come tomorrow i have like a, a shoot or something and they're like oh actually can we do tuesday i was like <laughs> And it's always when they get comfortable. Oh, man, this is blocked off, too. Oh, this guy's pissed that this road is blocked. Ooh. Like, same, though? <laughs> that is annoying, but we'll just, um... Okay, we'll just keep going. Um... Right. Hollywood and full art is crazy. Um, so sometimes, and I'm not saying that with like, like literally, I would say maybe like 70% of the people are like that, but sometimes you use people too much and they become too comfortable. And then it's no longer like you're an employee, they're an employee and you're an employer and they respect you. It's kind of like, I don't know what it is. I've, I've never been like that. Like when someone hired me on a job ever for music videos, whatever. Oh my God. I was just like, so whatever you want. Yes whatever you need but i have people like i remember my thick videos a lot of dancers like mm, i don't want to get wet or like extra big i don't want to get wet i'm like your job is this you know what i mean like i don't know i don't know i'm maybe I, I, I don't know i just know for me i would just do above and beyond for all jobs that i was part of even jobs that weren't for like anyone famous or anything like i did this these like Bollywood film. I didn't even Scientology films for a while. I don't even know where those went, but like you would just like sit in a movie theater and be watching a movie. Like that was like your, that was like, they were like filming you watching a movie, but it wasn't a movie. It was just like they needed an audience watching a movie, I guess, whatever. And, um, I would, I would give all my, like in those Bollywood films where there was one where I was just sitting in like a courtroom and the guy was giving like a motivational speech, but it was like, it was awful. Like the speech was awful. I was like, this sucks. But, um, but I remember they needed people to stay, and I was all, but I've always been that person. Even I remember, oh my God, who was I talking to? Oh, Joey and Colleen. They had no idea that I met Shane from LA Casting, which is like a casting website. Um, it's a popular one, so I guess I'm not like giving away any secrets, but it's like a casting site, and it's like, you know, but like little jobs, like 100 bucks here or 200, like not little, but it's quick to find people, and like it's people who need quick money. But just actors in general. Well, anyways the first video I did the one who I turned you the one who turned you gay was Shane and this was like years before we became friends this was like 2011 I think 
Um, I played like a stripper because they were looking for strippers and I got hired. I was so excited. Like that's fate right there because like I didn't really get hired to play a stripper. Well, that's not true. I guess I did get hired to play a stripper a lot. I think it was the blonde hair, but, um, but I remember that shoot too. Like they're like, Hey, can anyone stay? I don't know if they were paying extra or not. I don't really remember, but I remember everybody like wanted to leave. Oh my God, these birds are They're so scary. Not everybody wanted to leave. It wasn't like the worst. It wasn't like a bad shoot, but you know, people just want to leave. Like when, like when you're able to be let go, people are like, okay, bye. I got my money. Bye. But I remember like, can anyone stay for like a couple more hours? And I was like, yeah, like I'll stay because I, like I said, I didn't even really know. I swear. I did not know Shane. I didn't know like there was like YouTubers, nothing. And for, to me, it was just like a project somebody was doing in their house. You know, it wasn't like, to me, it wasn't a big thing, not knowing or grasping YouTube or even who he was or anything. And I stayed just because, like, I was having fun. And also, I just always had the mentality of staying on a shoot because you don't know who you're going to meet. Like, they'll, like, remember you as being, like, really whatever. And, um, yeah. Um. Oh, and then the moral of that story was I stuck around until, like, till later, till whenever they needed me. And, um. I got to be like a, a featured stripper. I had like a talking part at the end, which was to me, it was a really big deal. Like I said, even though I didn't know the project or anything, I was just like really excited to like not just be one of the strippers. Like I got, Oh, I got to talk or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And I always respect that when people are like, there's this one dancer I'll always use no matter how many times we use him. His name's Enrique. He's danced with me in thick is this love. Um, he, recently in Quentin Tarantino, which what dreams are made of. Like he dances with me all the time. Like I freaking love him. I wanted to go on tour with us. Because he's, one, he's so nice. He's always so positive and so full of energy. He'll he'll be the first one there at 8 a.m. for, like, the Inglorious Bastard scene and stay until the very last scene, which was the big dance scene, and, like, not complain about it. And I love that because people complain, and I get it because I used to complain, too, sometimes. Usually it was, like, audience work, which they treat you like actual slaves, and they, like, pay you like actual slaves. Like, you literally get, like, $64 back in the day for, like, 15 hours, and they wouldn't let you go, and, like, they wouldn't give you breaks or, pot, like, bathroom breaks. Like, they're, like, if you go to the bathroom, like, you won't get paid. Like, they were crazy, and um, so, yeah, those I would complain about, but um, I think there was another one. There was a show called Dirt with Courtney Cox. I complained about that one, too. I think I walked off the set and didn't get paid. I don't know why I complained about that. That was just, like, really bad conditions or something. I don't know. Freaking. Um, see, I could just talk to you guys all day like this. It's just nice and relaxed. Um, maybe I need to stop. I, maybe I just need not put so much pressure on myself about views. You know what? I always say I don't care about views, and then when views start going low, you're like, wow, people don't care anymore. <laughs> kind of, an, it's kind of a reality. That was not even, like what was me like when you stop getting views people kind of don't care about you anymore um and then when do you stop and then also it's like I don't care if no one watches me but then other people be like wow Trisha really fell off I think that about people I think that about YouTubers like damn I need to get so many views and now they get like 4,000 views it's a it's a reality that like nobody can stop and I, it's one of those things where I don't even like talk about because you know I feel like when you talk about things you kind of like manifest them so I don't even like to talk about it, but, um, that is a reality. But anyways, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, I really want to get in there. I'm like really excited. <laughs> I'm so excited actually. Uh, that guy has a slice of pizza and he's just walking. Like he has like a swag, like he's swagging and I want to be him. <laughs> I just want to have a pizza and swag and not care about anything on a Wednesday. I'm actually so excited. I wish I could just park. I wish this one I need an assistant to go park my car for me. So I can just get out and strut on in and be like, hey, boys, the artist is here. No, the fact that there was that many people, like, oh, I should have showed you guys. There was literally like 50 people in that room. And we're there till five. So that's like groups coming in. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have gotten there right when it started. Ugh, I'm so mad because this is like really exciting to me. I'm real excited about it. Like, real excited. Uh, real, real, real. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm happy that I'm in a happier mood today. See, when I'm creative, when I have a, something going on, I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh, I missed that spot. Oh. Literally right in front. Yeah. Okay, I just went really well. We found two of them. 
actually everyone was so freaking good i felt so bad to like cut anyone because i was like everyone is so good like way more talented than i'll ever be so i was just like but I found two really good ones. One looks like Keanu Reeves. I'm, like, so excited about him. Um, young, but good dancer and really hot. So I'm going to get celery juice because my skin is out of whack. This isn't even for losing weight. This is just because of my skin. It needs, it, needs, it needs to get better before my music video. 